So here it is, the end of the Vampire Survivor second wave. A whole one-third of the challenge would be officially done at the end of this. Or so. Ron Gould is going to be taking out Polis Rafka, as you can see. And you will not hear, because this is post-commentary, because for some reason I was muted for like the first ten minutes. Go figure.
No, inexplicably the audio is not going. Okay. I don't know how it got muted. That makes no sense. I never hit mute once. There was no situation in which I needed to mute. Not even for the end of IU, Dan. Wow, how many levels was that? Well, enough to basically double my damage, yikes. It's left side right. Left side correct. Huh. Guess you can't double up on the same chest from the same point if you didn't grab the old one. Okay, time to start grabbing the minis. A more offensive pressure, but still not great. Alright, but once I have a couple more of these, and you know, red gives me the knockback. Yeah, damage is much better, but it's still not great. The engineer should solve a lot of this. Lightning is very good. Who knew? Pew pew! I'd like to hold off and just grab chests to level these up, but I don't live in a fantasy world where that's possible, so... Man, I'm still taking such a beating. Slowly, slowly, slowly move in. Good, max it out. Off the chest, that's the most efficient route. Uh-oh. Well, that's almost convenient. Stalker, are you kidding me? And a character with absolutely miserable clear. I don't even know where it's gone. Did I take it out? I can't tell. Oh, I think that was off. Yep, that was a vacuum. Random always now. Oh, that, yep, that's... Chests are actually triple stacked there. I just couldn't tell, because... The first two stacked up instantly. Oh my god, Stalker. Hey, good thing I picked up that Arcana of Reviving. Sarah Bondane. The only option I have. And this is gonna last no time at all. How do I keep not making it? Sentinel thingies. Ta -ta 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 -ta. <laughs> oh, right. Remember, healing is damage. I want to go Disco a Golden, but... Huh. Oh, my damage has gotten much better. Yeah, it still won't be enough to make it over there in time. Uh, mostly because I can barely see where I'm going at this point. Am I? Yeah, I'm in range. Two. One. Zero, and I lost a revive because I was trying to rush it. Well, Stalker went down at some point. I'm down to my last revive, and I'm not even 20 minutes in. Plus, 
the first third of the video, if this does get posted, is going to be dead silent. For my audio. Because it got muted for some reason. I really need to run checks. I also really need to get things done before the last minute, but hey. It wouldn't be sensational if it wasn't done by accident. You can quote someone more famous than me on that, yeah. Which is literally everyone. In fact, you are more famous than I am. That's right, I said I am. I got it correct. It's not more famous than me, it's more famous than I. Yep, I'm going to be the biggest pedant about that ever. That's my gimmick. Being a pedant about people saying I or me. Or me and X. Other people first. Other people first. I say as I don't put other people first. Wow, they're gotten pretty big, huh? You know, I never no, really noticed they had shapes, but there's stars, triangles, and circles here. Red, pink ones look like hearts, I think. Man, I'm not going to be able to get to anything. Probably should have rushed for ghost first. That would have been very helpful for overall survivability. Also, I haven't had a level in forever. That's... Well, worrisome. What? Oh, right, I did not fall. Okay. Use the mini ghost, try and get over to the Metaglio, then I can grab some of these chests laying around, upgrade myself. Not the greatest plan, but it's kind of all you have some days. At least when I get to Mad Force, it's going to be a lot easier. I may have less raw power overall because of the lack of the imposters, but the stage is going to be easier at the start, which is where the troublesome parts come in. No, nope, he has all my levels. No, that was basically nothing. That wave. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, who would expect bats on Polis Rafa that aren't colored like they're from Space Invaders or Galaga? Oh, I mean, I might as well go down this route. I never go down this route. This is like the third time I've done it. Oh, the orange ones are triangles. Oh, baby. Get away from me, baby. I can't be your father. I don't have the equipment for that. He's a zombie, after all. And you're some sort of alien thingy. I just... No, there was a door there. Huh. I'm not sure this, this damage is good. Or the damage is bad at this point. I mean, it seems to be a sort of safe area in here, but who knows. Here, uh oh. Okay, there's the Atlantean in the ring. I ain't really need Well, it'll affect the mini ghosts freeze, which would be very helpful. Keeps them frozen until a second hand gets around. Ooh, and I get the chest here, too. For one silver ring. Wait, there's more. Order now, and for a limited time, you will also get another silver ring. A $20 value, yours for absolutely free. And, if at any time you should decide the product isn't working out for you, you can call us and we will lie about taking it back. And you will get charged more for the calling us. I 
And even if we somehow do refund it or replace it, we will then run a smear campaign on your life and have people harassing you on Facebook. Don't you just love social media? It really brings us together in the worst possible way. Now well, this started terribly, but it's become not terrible. I mean, it's only going to get worse from here on out. Well, actually, no. This is the worst it gets. Well, the worst it gets is Ramba. I mean, Mad Forest later isn't going to be able to touch this. Even if I'm a bit more powerful than I would be there. I mean, they don't... Hmm. Well, I, I mean, yeah. It does... The imposters or the minis add so much, but... You know, the fact that it took so long to get anything rolling here. And I was driven by a lot of ridiculous luck from the RNG outside that stalker nonsense. Oh, stalker, I hate you so. Let's say you're hiding outside in the bushes, but why am I invincible? I don't have bushes outside. Also, this is the eighth floor. Wait, why aren't you frozen? Oh, such mysteries will have to wait. 64 million. Not the worst. Party poop are also a couple million. Also not the worst. Sarabande was showing us it could exist. Alright, but there's the first of the last done. Stick around for the second of the last. Here we are at last at last on Mad Forest, and the fact that it's already been brought up is a bad sign, don't you know? I figure the Gemini is better, that way you can get a full comparison between the party pooper and the party popper. Ew, Torona's off the bat. If only it was Empty Tome off the bat instead. Man, he's so far away here. Uh, maybe load up on rerolls, try and get Empty Tome ASAP. Man, just bouncing off of them. Okay, get my passives up as fast as possible. Spinach is on the map. Oh, that's so lucky. In fact, it's so lucky it may have just saved the run entirely. really need empty tome now. So how about you give me that empty tome I need? That's what all these rerolls are for. There we go. Alright, now once the tome gets up, this should be easy street. It will be so sweet. Oh, what's the last one? Duplicator? I mean, that should take a bit to get. And weapon levels, of course. Need those. Crown. Crown is power. Because levels are power. Uh oh. Man, so many bats. I mean, I lost the bats on Mad Forest. That's how you know you're bad. When you have this many hours in it. Uh oh, so many dudes. Skeletons, skeletons, duplicator. All right, damage is just barely keeping up at this point. Oh, beautiful chest. Beautiful chest to give me power and life and a purpose. Good. Trona's a maxed out tome. It's 
Let's see, what do I got? Only two. I'll get that big red jam. Weapon first. And probably Kin Labrador. Yeah, now I got the bottom all nice and safe. Yeah, I took out the Bone Tower, nice. And gotta sort of zigzag it. No, just go diagonally. No, that's how they fire. Won't be the most efficient of movements, but it'll help. Yep, yeah, that figures. No, oh, I thought I saw a Drowner. But it was just what I was doing. Huh, maybe I should put in a notification. I mean, is Ponko on the Discord server? I mean, I presume he is, since there's a beta test branch. I'm not sure if it's official. Also, I should really rejoin the Discords I was in. We have the new computer. I didn't. And it's been over a month now. Well, there's really no limit to my laziness. There's a really a limit to my sense. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm, not making very good time. Man, mud miners. Uh, are they the mud men? Dang it. I think I know this by now. I can make out the occasional path. Once I get a vacuum, it's gonna be so many levels. Oh, bats, bats, and zombies. Those are so much easier to take down. Come on, give me that hollow heart. Wait, no. I limit break. This doesn't evolve. So I don't need to worry about losing out on levels or anything. Efficiency. That's one good thing about these. You don't really need to care about it. Bam. Like, yeah. Sure. The ones that can do the anima evolution can evolve, but those are like level coin level 80 anyway. So you're probably gonna hit it regularly anyway. Anyway, 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 anyway. Oh, this is going so much better. Yeah, strangely difficult start. But once you get going, pretty overall decent level of strength. Damage overall isn't much, but it does push back pretty effectively. You can't really travel all that well, I suppose. And there's worse problems to be having, like Gavadoni, where you do no damage and no pushback. That's the 10 minute, that would be the evolution chest, which would normally be a very good thing. Now it is just a thing. Man, it's hard. Uh, maybe I should just make a charge up. Red gem. Yeah, that was not worth it at all. Where was it? Money. I'm out. Gotta get a lot of might levels in. I don't have a choice but to take this and elongate the video. <laughs> and elongate the video. It's not like it's artificial or something. Da, 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 French vanilla. Oh, sweet NFT straight to the moon. Atlantean. And there's my awake. 
And then now where I should not be awake yet. Oh, thankfully, there's only about 10 minutes left before I can put this to rest. Whew. Oh, nice. A chicken. That's exactly what I needed. Why did that restore basically no health? Oh. Right. Levels are a thing I need. Wait, am I getting hit by things? Oh man, I didn't get hot far up enough. So now my bottom is completely clear, and that would be really helpful if I was trying to move to the spinach, which I desperately need. I can't get up unless there's a wave break. Which seems unlikely, because that would be helpful. around. I have a wake. I might be might be the, just the best option to push on through to the other side. Push on through to the other side. That yeah, was all my levels saved up for like 10 minutes, huh? Da, 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 da. Yep, that was so many. I should have really kept a track of that. One more mount. Hey, I actually burned through the mall instead of getting bored halfway through and going random always. Man, I should have spawned in so many more. Candy box. That's not what I want. How dare you tempt me. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna charge in. Explicably not take all that much damage. Okay. That'll make this a lot better, right? Since it'll get bigger and it'll stay longer. And I'll hit the projectile limit a lot more. Which is very bad. But it finally lets me start moving on to the spinach. And if I grab this Orologian and this vacuum, I will go very fast. And maybe there will be a cake in it for me. Which would be strange considering this is not Lake Foscari where a cake would be. And without spinach, the damage is just not going as high as I need it to. But that will be rectified, possibly. Uh oh, mummy wave. Okay, I can get through the mummy wave pretty okay. It's more than I can say for a lot of other characters. Uh, does the hit pull limit not exist for this weapon or something? It seems like it's doing more damage than it should, considering the numbers that are popping out. The mummies are typically pretty dang durable. Or the big mummies are pretty durable. And do way too much damage. Oh hey, I took down the Atlantean. I'm not risking my life for that egg. My upper DPS is strangely weirdly bad, despite the weapon firing in that direction. Okay, should be able to get to that spinach with no more trouble. That's good. Oh, of course, Stalker shows up. Why wouldn't he? Hey, chicken. Oh, and I've completely lost track of him.
Oh boy, this is off to the worst possible conclusion. And I'm going sideways, diagonally, which is the worst possible move when Stalker has shown up. Only worse than going straight up or down. I don't know why it's tagged like that. Maybe I go slower up and down. Oh, there's my spinach. Go away. Oh, stuck on a tree. That was either stalker or zombie. Down to my last revive. Oh, at least I'm on the little plants. They may be super durable, but they have no damage. Now, I don't know if stalker is gone or not. Can't tell. Not sure my damage should be high enough to have pushed it back already. No, go straight down to the one on the left. That one is safer since I should be getting more than enough levels. And the illusionist exploding gems stuff too. You don't want rotting. You don't want at me to win the second wave, do you, game? But I'm here. Oh, what am I getting damaged by? Are they still exploding in through all this silliness? Oh, chicken. Save me, chicken. Is that random event chicken? And they're still getting in. Dang. So durable. Not even going to be able to get to the spinach at this rate. Why are there two bats up? Oh, right. One of them's Arcana Bat, isn't it? I just haven't been able to hit it because they keep getting pushed back. Okay, let me see if I can take them out. If I get Cerebonde, it still won't be good, but it'll be a bit safer at least. Alrighty, that's just a regular chest. Yeah, I'd prefer to have spinach sooner than later. I guess I'm gonna get anything. Man, I just can't get the angle on it. Arcana chest I would risk a run in, but I can't. Not with this. Not with one revive left. Six armor is high, but it's still not great. And at least I don't have to worry about the lower section getting in on me. Just the top one. Focus. Focus in. Focus on the boss plant thing. Chicken. Random events save me again. This doesn't make up for Stalker and Illusionist. And I presume Drowner is right around the corner. Though Drowner really would be a giant problem because I'm all strong on the bottom and weak up top. So if Drowner won't last long, it will very limit my available movement options. Slowly but surely, I am partying my way out of this. Man, I was expecting to have a lot more clearance at this point. Guess if I couldn't do it on Polis Ravkler, expecting it on Mad Force was a bit of a mad idea. Yeah, but we've rottened our way through. Oh, hey, a level. Man, the gem that is containing all my real XP must be huge. Is that it there on the left? 50 levels coming right up? No, that was nothing. Oh, final bats. 
two minutes of them getting pushed back. I suppose that's this weapon's ultimate strength. It's not in its raw direct damage. It's in the fact that it has some incredible knockback. And, you know, it can just sit on screen like this forever. Granted, you have to Gemini it up, because without Party Pooper, the Popper itself is not very impressive. I typically count the Arcana effectiveness in with it. Are you? Ah. And the second wave comes to its conclusion. Thank you, Red Mask. 42 million? Against the 25 million of Party Pooper. It kept up a bad Marley, considering it doesn't get all the benefits Popper does. Or maybe it doesn't. Who knows? Sometimes it feels random. Either way, that's the second wave done. Mostly, I know Megalomania didn't get a second, but she's invincible, it doesn't really matter. And Ghost, well, Ghost will get one video with all the stages, because otherwise it's a really boring character. And that'll just be tourniqueted, because, well, like, you can't lose with Ghost unless you deliberately try to. Which might make for an amusing video, or cut, but whatever. Alright, and in the Beswick checkoff, I'm going to talk about a bit about what I'm going to be doing for the third wave, so if you aren't sticking around for that, this might finally be the time to. Thanks for watching. And with that, the second wave comes to a close with Ryan Gould's strange, not very great performances, but hey, they were wins all the same. I hit the right one, right? Yeah. 210. 210 stages beaten with different characters. And it could have been two more up, but I messed up. Anyway, third wave will be starting up tomorrow. Same Beswick time, same Beswick day, which is every day. So, my thought is going to be, well, don't know what it is going to be. Is it going to be the one character three times in video or three characters in one video? Probably the first one since it's better for our algorithm. Ah, don't you just love the YouTube algorithm? But it's going to be three weapons, three passives, three arcanas, no pickups from the map. Not on inverse, but still on hurry because this needs to be done sometime before the heat death of the universe. Anyway, look forward to Antonio showing back up again. Like if you liked, dislike if you didn't. Comment if there's anything you want me to see. Subscribe to support the channel. Thanks for all that you do. Have a good day and keep messing around.